and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Wednesday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches One Punch Me Season Two, Episode Seven. So, in the last episode, we got the um, got like a little bit into this whole uh, fighting tournament thingamadoo, and we got to see a little bit more of this association of monsters thing, and like this big old monster king. Oh boy, he got some of that shit going on. Um. Honestly, I kind of want one of these two stories to wrap up real fucking quick. Because, wait, does it really feel like there's not enough space? Like, like, the, like Genos had this whole moment and there's like where he's like, ah, I've come up with a new recipe, like a new weapon to fight. The fight monsters and deal people who are super fast. And it just turns out he just... Just shits glue out. And I feel like that was supposed to be a joke. But because of how the pacing is working, it didn't feel like the pacing of a joke. And so it just happened. There's like the build up, and you've got this build up, and you're like, oh, oh, based on the pacing and how quickly this is going, this is going to turn something cool. And then, the hi, no, it's a joke. Are you laughing yet? No? Fuck. Like, yeah, it it just really did not feel like it was coming out as a joke. Just, and that's kind of just a big issue that this this has had. Like a lot of moments from the last few episodes, especially because I've gone back and watched some of them, like after the react thing. Uh, just it feels like the whole pacing is just fucking up the delivery. Like things are supposed to be serious or coming out as jokes, and things are supposed to be jokes are coming out as fucking flaccid boners. The f most flaccid of all the boners. You know, and just, uh, but, alright, well, let's see if they can keep, let's see if they can keep everything erect for, for at least one episode, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh no, they're so weak. It's not like they weren't weak to fucking start with. Their number one hero has no goddamn power. For being called Orochi, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing enough snakes. Doesn't Orochi literally mean snake? Or am I getting that confused with something else? Like... Like, that design looks... It's big, tall, mo featureless monster guy with a bunch of mouths where his limbs are. Like... I mean, Boros wasn't exactly the most original concept, but at least he was interesting to look at. If, if, if that's our... If, this, if that's our big monster of the fucking season, then... I want my money back! <laughs> like, that's a... Hmm... Like, really not gonna lie, like, it, that, that really doesn't look great. Like, most of the designs in this, in this show, like, a lot of them, they do, uh, they do pull off, like, oh, hey, here's, here's this trope, here's this type of character, here's this type of monster. But there's almost always, like, a little twist on it. And usually that twist is pretty blatant and out there, but like, ah, here you go. I mean, like, but what's the twist on that guy? It doesn't seem like there is one. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> and... And back to our tournament, which is going to just skip over fucking everything. Well, that was quick. Wow, he really isn't... One Punch Man versus One Kick Man. Let's go. Let's get there.
So, like, are we going to actually have, like, anything with this tournament? Or is there, are we just going to pop back to it every now and again to waste our time, you know? I feel like the Monster Association just kind of getting in Garo's way. Is that a little kid in a fucking Shiba Inu suit? It's a little kid controlling a Shiba Inu robot. <laughs> Don't you need to pass a physical to become a hero? I, ah, I, I feel like maybe sending a robot in your stead is probably... Hmm. Oh, that guy looks hype. That guy is, ge that guy is Genos, but cool. Sorry, Genos. Maybe you should fucking be cooler. F fuck me. Man, the S rank heroes are kind of dicks, aren't they? Oh, it was Child Emperor. There he is. Why would he be within... Pig guy. <laughs> it's just a fat guy. How the fuck did he pass? How the f I've spent so much time killing myself by just by just pigging out that you know what that poison will take so long to get through my arteries I won't even feel it before I die. Like seriously, that guy's arteries are so clogged with cholesterol that he's just like nah, he's on his well on his way to dying. Like, seriously, like, that's crazy eyes, but he's just like Mr. Rogers. Oh, so you're inbred, then. Well, then. I'm sure you'll make your sister mom proud. Kind of cord. <laughs> and off he goes. Seriously, like, I'd rather they not even bother showing us these in between matches. Holy shit. Like, just get to one punch man versus one kick man. Let's just fucking just skip to that one, please. Who the fuck? What? What is that guy with the rose? Flashy fl- What the fuck? It's just Sonic, but blonde. It's Aryan Sonic, what the fuck? Did... Like, does Sonic have like a brother or something? Is that why he's got such a fucking inferiority complex?
Like, or did they just run out of ideas and just reuse the fucking I idea? She's like, she's like, all you did was piss it off, my dude. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Tatsumaki. <laughs> That's a little excessive, don't you think? Susie, why does Tatsumaki cause so much damage? Seriously, I feel like if, if like... I feel like a psychic like her should just be able to just yeet everything into space like cars. Like... Or does she just enjoy causing property damage? Like, this guy has to be like Sonic's brother or something, right? Wow, it's almost as if Class A heroes ain't worth shit. Like, holy crap, how is the monsters not just annihilate everything if fucking these guys exist? Whole bunch of Class A heroes, fucking nothing. Like, takes a Class A guy to take him down, a Class S guy to take him down. What you mean the you mean the super old man might lose to his student who has mastered his art and is like fucking thirty years his his fucking junior? Okay, so I am actually curious what the other- because like, you got, like, Nuclear Samurai, or Atomic Samurai, whatever his name is. So, like, he's very obviously a big weeb, but, like, what are the other- What are the other sword boys? Okay, what is- what, what's your deal? Yeah, no, that's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking... I reject my humanity, Jojo. Rrrrri. Except S-rank heroes routinely beat the shit out of monsters. Like, like, I feel like becoming a monster is a fucking detriment. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, especially because, like, humans, essentially, it seems like they have, like, near infinite upwards potential, while monsters do not. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, fucking exactly what I expected would fucking happen. Like, it seems like monsters just have, like, a set fucking, like, strength. And humans just keep going and going and going and going, depending on how much they want it. Okay, now please let this actually be a fight. Please make this fucking tournament arc actually fucking worth it, because so far it's just been a waste of time.
Oh, please let this actually turn into something good. Please, for fuck's sake. Man, why is everyone gotta bully Saitama, man? Why is everyone gotta be bully? <laughs> oh my god, he's being a shit heel. He's just trying to knock the wig off. Saitama, can you just fucking punch him in the balls and just deal with it? Okay, this is... No, he hasn't figured out the wig thing, but... Wow, those are- wow, how'd you get that from the deadest eyes in the show? So what training method did this guy take to be able to do one kick, and- but he didn't lose his hair? Maybe Saitama backed the wrong horse, if you- Oh man, what if by learning how to punch real could you lose your hair? What if learning how to kick real good, you, you lose your pubes or something, something you can't notice? What fucking hardships, they one-hit everything. Oh god, please let this be a Boros thing. Or Saitama could have just ended this in one go. Oh my god, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it just slides like it's fucking linoleum. He's calling it fairly quickly, that referee. Like, Jesus. That ends it. Like, honestly, if I didn't hear a fucking bell, did you? Like, did you hear a fucking bell? I didn't hear a bell. I... God, could Saitama just throw a punch? Please, Saitama, please fucking just hit him. Even if he tried to counter, what would that even do? Sa like, Saitama could literally knock the crust off the earth if he wanted to. Like, how, how do you counter that? Oh, we've established that Class A is garbage. Has this guy never met a Class S hero? For real, like, Class S heroes make Class A heroes look like fucking nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's like me, but evil. Now I must kill it. Look at that serious face. Look at that big serious face. That big serious boy.
Just fucking blasted his shirt off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, so now he's now he's Oh, that's some bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. That's fucking horrible. We were about to get a fucking fight and now it's just like, nope. Wait, we actually get in a fight? But I, I like what he said there was like, if you want to have fun, stop getting stronger. That's great. That's like Saitama's pathos in one. Like, holy shit. I got too strong to have fun. And of course, and of course, where you can't fucking even do anything. It's like he's tickling him. It's not even like Boros, where Boros is actually like making, like making him move. Like, remember like Boros was like blasting him around, like wasn't actually doing any like palpable damage. But like he was actually, you know, like m moving Saitama at least. This guy can't do nothing. Oh wow, he made Saitama move. Yep, yeah, all right, yeah, no, under, yeah, don't, yep, yeah, no, 110%. Did he just, did he just beat him with a fucking hip check? One hip man. <laughs> he fucking beat him with his hips. Oh my god, fucking. They're fucking absolutely nothing. Ab fucking absolutely nothing. Jesus Christ. Uh... Like. Honestly. I don't hold up for like something like Boros where like he was ab able to do enough to at least move Saitama was probably too much to fucking like, to fucking hope for. But I can hope at least, right? I mean that's the whole point of anime, especially like shonen, which is which this is supposed to be making fun of. It's a it's a stream of constant uh escalation. That's the whole idea, right? But Oh boy, like straight up, I feel like this the show this season specifically, it suffers. It suffers from the pacing. Like Like uh, like so much stuff like the whole stuff of the S rank hero should have been the main the main thing. And we should have just cut away from the tournament until the final round. And then maybe when we came back to it, just have like a... Just have like Saitama in the green room. Being like, yeah, I beat everyone in one punch. And then just snap to like single frames of him just beating everyone else. Including Sourface. Just boop, 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 boop. And just go from there, you know? 
Oh no. Oh no, Janos Big Dead. Oh, you're also missing an arm. <laughs> Go get fuck. That's a that's a good name. Hey, we get Watchdog. We get Watchdog next time. Yay. Um, Hachiko Ju Hachiko in a fur suit. Um, but yeah. So, so that whole fight. I know what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a moment where Saitama has this fight and. It's a big old nothing, because, you know, of course it's going to be a big old nothing. I was kind of, like, in my heart of hearts, I was like, man, I, I kind of hope he can at least, like, be strong enough that Saitama can pretend to give him a fight like he did with Boros. But, yeah, that probably wasn't going to happen. Like, it, this, this show doesn't work on normal anime rules. The, this rule of escalation doesn't really apply. Um, which, is un which is kind of annoying. Um... But the whole f idea of the fight being Saitama impressing on Suryu that if he wants to keep having fun, if he wants to keep having this carefree life where he just fights for fun, not like in, you know, ignoring the whole hero thing, then becoming stronger is probably the worst thing to do. Because then he'll just wind up like Saitama and he'll be completely unfulfilled, just like Saitama is. Um, and, and the whole, like, fact that he's kind of an antithesis to Saitama. Like, he's got the same idea where he's just getting stronger and he's doing what he's doing for fun, but instead of viewing heroism as something to aspire to, he views it as something to disparage, because it's like, eh, it's fucking bullshit. Because uh, all the other he all the heroes are dog shit, really, when it comes down to it. Like, at the same time, like, it's a really cool thing to just kind of have an anti-Saitama, but at the same, but also, like, his, his idea is kind of wrong. The fact that, okay, so, A-ranks, yes. A-ranks are absolute garbage and, like, fucking, yeah, mo damn near anyone can fucking one-hit them. Like, the scaling in this, in this show is very much stacked in favor of the villains up until you get to S-rank. But... But, like, the S-rank heroes, they they are on a completely different level. Like, like S-rank, well, none of them could probably beat Saitama. At the very least, the S-rank heroes could stand up to Boros's minions. And Boros's minions, like, essentially, without Boros's help, wiped out the entirety of City A by themselves. And... While most of them weren't able to even ding Saitama, like, there was a couple that, like, could actually, you know, bounce him around a tiny bit. And, which, honestly, as far as, like, fighting Saitama goes, that's, like, about as high as you can fucking get. Um, so it's, like, I feel like an, an S-rank hero, like, maybe not Metal Bat. Actually, no, maybe Metal Bat. Assuming Metal Bat doesn't, you know, die on the first hit. Uh, Metal Bat could probably take out Seiryu, or, like, you know, if the fight went on long enough, because his power level increases as the fight goes on, he gets more pissed off and more worked up. But, like, someone like Bang could probably take him out, uh, Atomic Samurai could probably take him out, Tatsumaki for 100% for could fucking take him out. Like, his, his ideas are wrong, because it's like, oh, all these, all these heroes are contaminants and just cause more trouble than they solve. But it's like, yeah, but, like, the, 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 but the A-ranks are the ones taking out, like, really, really minor threats. Like, it's essentially, like, the cops, like, a basic patrolman, like a beat cop, versus a SWAT team, you know? Like, if you think of, like, C-ranks as, like, the neighborhood watch, the B-rank as, like, meter maids, A-ranks as beat cops, and fucking S-ranks as the SWAT team... Like, I mean, it starts making sense that you don't call in a- you don't call in a SWAT team to take care of a parking meter violation, same way you don't call in a meter maid to- to, to fucking- to shoot a live stream. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? It's like... Ugh. I- I don't know, like, it's- it's- it's really messy, and I think someone said that this tournament arc was something that wasn't even in the original comic, it was added by the manga artist to kind of fill time. 
and it really shows it shows a re because it i feel like it shows a big misunderstanding of what is actually happening in the setting i don't know i don't know mm. it feels feels off i don't like it i'm not a big fan of it um yeah i don't know like i feel like i could have been a big fan of this episode though just because i mean he's a bad guy so i mean it could be that he's just not got the full picture and he could be just being a big dumb dumb idiot but the pacing though like that went on for that i don't know i don't know if that went on for too long or too little it feels like we're in like this weird middle ground where like it either could have been done in like 10 seconds or it could have been half an episode but regardless what it received was not correct like it did i can say and that's just a big issue for like the past like three episodes three four episodes like this pacing like just things either go too slow or too fast and and here it's like it's weird middle ground where it could have gone either faster or slower it just what it got was not it like it just i mean honestly i think maybe it needed less time or maybe even then like maybe it could be giving its own episode kind of thing you know like actually make it a proper fight and give it a full episode because i really don't feel like the actual monster thing got enough time but once again that could be solved by not cutting back to the tournament every five seconds because we don't care we know saitama is going to just everyone in one go and we know seiryu is going to do the exact same thing but with a kick like i don't know man just it... people been going on about like oh the animation doesn't look as good like the animation looks fine the issue is the fucking storytelling and pacing oh boy like that's mm, you want to fucking get into problems that's where the fucking problem comes in my boy oh boy um mm. uh yeah i just I don't know, man. I don't know. This ain't it, Chief. I don't know what this is, but this ain't it. Um, yeah, I like. I'm in like this weird meh zone. Like the, we had this really hype moment with like Atomic Samurai taking out that guy was a monster. Like I, I feel like we needed more time with the with the swordsman because like that was a really cool thing that just kind of was like there and gone. It's like oh, okay then. All right. Uh... And then you got the whole thing with, like, that flashy Flash guy who's Sonic, but good guy? Question mark? And you know, I, think, I feel like that had enough time. I feel like that's probably, like, the one actually decently paced thing in here. Um, yeah, just this tournament arc, you, it was not required. Like, yeah, there needs to be something for Saitama to be doing so he doesn't just solve this monster problem in one go, but maybe, like ignoring it until like the end of the episode and like maybe like giving like half the episode to that fight and then having him be in the green room had like a flashback of just boom 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 oh yeah i knocked everyone out in one hit like and it's really annoying because i'm trying to give them time to show me their stuff but just ah oh, man it's just not doing uh, mm. and then like be like hey final round against the big punch man and it's like show some stuff of him one hitting everyone and so i thought i'd be like hey maybe this guy'd be a good fight you know, like, short, sweet, and then into the actual thing we care about. Uh, but, yeah, just... Fucking so far, like, start of this season was, like, a solid, like, 8 out of 10. Like, not like a 10 out of 10. No, because, like, the, the animation downgrade was there. Like, it's... Like... The animation downgrade is there. I, will, I have never disagreed the animation downgrade is there. But it's still better than the most of the shit we get nowadays. But because of the downgrade, I would say, like, yeah, no. I started this season, like, basing it off of what we got in the first season. Solid out of 8 out of 10. But these last four episodes of, like... The la I'm going to say three, actually. last three episodes have had really big pacing problems. It kind of just killed the momentum of the story for me. And it's like... Right now we're at a solid, like, 6 out of 10. Meh. I don't know. Just... I don't know, fam. This ain't it. This ain't it, chief. And I'm hoping maybe they, they kind of find their footing and, and work it out, but... At this point, I'm just kind of waiting for them to get back on, like, a single story thread so we can actually go back to not having to juggle fucking multiple fucking stories at one go. Because... Oh, boy. 
Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. We need not do that. Like, cutting over to Saitama doing something stupid? I. Cutting over to Saitama having his own fucking story arc? No, friend. No. Uh, but that's, that's how it be. That's how it be, I guess. But anyway, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Whether you agree with me, disagree with me, or you want to bring up something I left out, because that's entirely possible. I don't know. It's, it's entirely possible. I doubt it, though, because let's be honest, fucking, this is kind of just a clusterfuck at this point. A clusterfuck of meh. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so let me know how you would fix this season. Honestly, my thing would be either cut the tournament art completely and, like, play reference to it, or have it take place in, like, its own set of episodes. Like, have it separated, be like, hey, here's the monsters. Like, or maybe, like, yeah, separate episodes. Like, here's an episode where there's monsters happening. Here's an episode where there's tournament happening. Do that. Like, fucking, you'd have the same amount of episodes. Um... Or, like I said, like, just, like, have, like, Saitama pop in at the end, like, hey, I'm at this tournament, having fun, yay! How would you, how would you do it? I don't know. What would, what would, what would be the best way to go forward? Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so, remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below, share on the, on the social medias. And if you want to, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description and in the end card. Uh, where you'll also find some of my other videos if you want to see some of those. Oh, boy. Um, and if you become a patron, you get Ash's special patrons-only Discord channel on the open Discord server that anyone can join, which is linked down there in the description. And also, you get and from there, you can uh, recommend things to be Let's Played, reacted to, live-streamed, whatever. And we also have our patrons-only movie night, which we have once a month. We had ours last week, and that was a shit ton of fun. We watched um, the first two seasons of the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s, and that was just a good old trip down Nostalgia Lane. That was good. It was fun. Um, yeah. So, as always, I am Nozavix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most of all, we'll become a trash meme today. And we'll see you in a later.